Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing the easiest way to run C or C++ code in VS Code on a Windows PC or laptop. So without further ado, let's get started. We will need two things to run C++ code. First is the C++ compiler and the second one is the VS Code editor. So let's go ahead and download them. Let's open a browser window. First, we'll download the C, C++, MinGW compiler. We will download it from the Winlibs site. So let's search for it. And click on the first link. Scroll down until you see the zip archives. We will download the 64-bit POSIX threads. So just click on any of these zip archives. Alright, next we'll also need the VS Code. So go ahead and search for VS Code. Click on the first link and then download for Windows. It will take some time, so I will come back when both of these files are downloaded. Alright, I have downloaded both of these files. So, first we will unzip the WinLibs MinGW C compiler. So, just right click it and click on Extract All. And we'll unzip it in our program files directory. So click on browse. Let's head over to this PC and C drive. Let's go inside program files and simply select the program files directory. So select this folder and click on extract. Click on continue. Alright, this will take some time, so we'll be coming back when the unzip is finished. Alright, the file has been unzipped. As you can see, there is a MinGW64 folder inside program files. Now we'll add the MinGW bin directory to the environment path variable. So let's go inside MinGW64 folder, then click on bin. And then simply copy this path. Now let's click on the start menu and search for environment variables. Click on edit the system environment variables. It will open the system properties window. Make sure you are on the advanced tab. Then click on environment variables. In this window, go to user variables for your user and select the path. Then click on edit. And then click on new. Simply paste the MinGW bin path here. And then click on OK. OK and OK again. Now let's check if we can access the C++ compiler. So click on the start menu and type cmd, press enter to open the command prompt. In there type in g++ which is short for new c++ compiler, give it a space, then dash dash version. Press enter and as we can see c++ compiler is set up correctly. So let's close the command prompt and now we'll quickly install the Visual Studio code. So let's go to the download folder and double click the VS Code installer. Check the license agreement and click on next. Next. Next again. Here I will create a desktop icon so I will check it and click on next. Then simply click on install. So it will go ahead and install VS Code in a few seconds. Click on finish to launch it. Let me maximize the window. Now we will click on the extension tab. And search for C++. From the available options, select the C or C++ extension pack. Then simply click on install. As you can see, this extension pack includes a set of popular extensions for C++ development, including CMake and CMake tools. 
Once it is installed, close the extension window and head over to the Explorer tab. Now click on Open Folder, go inside Desktop and create a new folder. Let's call it Projects. Then go inside it and click on Select Folder. This will open this folder in VS Code. Make sure to check Trust the Authors of All Files in the Parent Folder Desktop and then click on Trust button. Let me close the welcome window and increase the font size so that it looks better on the eyes. Now let's try some simple C++ code. So let's create a new C++ file. We will call it main.cpp. We just installed the C++ extension so we will not be installing the pre-release version. So let me close it. Now I will quickly paste some simple C++ code and save the file by pressing Ctrl S on the keyboard or by clicking on file and then clicking on save. Alright so far so good now let's click on this little arrow icon just after the play button and then click on run C or C++ file. If you are running it for the first time you will have to select the compiler. You can either select the GCC or G++ compiler. Since we are running the C++ file, so we'll select the G++ compiler. As you can see, the compilation is going on. We can also see the main.exe file. And in the end, our code has ran successfully. Now if you click on the terminal tab, you will see hello world printed on the terminal. Now if you change something in the code, it will also reflect when we run it. So let's change it to hello C++ and then click on the run button again. As you can see, this time hello C++ has been printed. So this is how you can run C++ code in VS Code on a Windows machine. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any question, comment below. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.